I mean, I guess I would have to look back, you know, 20 years. That's how long our relationship goes back here. And whether that's from, you know, playing against him, Canada versus New Zealand, or playing together with him in Phoenix. And um, just getting to know him and the character that he is, the person he is, um, the, the amazing leader um, that he is and what he's shown, especially those, those Phoenix teams that uh, I was on with him, lucky to be a part of with him. Um, and I think that's that's led to this date where we figured, you know, this was this is the best uh, the best person for this job and this team. Sean, it feels like on the surface, his time in Golden State, <clears throat> like to me, like three three really valuable things um, that might be kind of specific to coaching the Nets. Number one, he watched Steve Kerr navigate taking on a head coaching role without any experience, having not been a head coach before. He watched him coach Kevin Durant. He saw the dynamic of that relationship, of how he coached him. And then he built his own relationship with Kevin Durant. Were those all among the elements you guys talked about and all things that you think might cut the learning curve for him a little bit in Brooklyn? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure if it's cut the learning curve, but I think that probably enticed him to think um, more about getting involved in coaching. I think when you've been around a, a championship caliber team, you know, like Golden State, um, that has just been you know, a juggernaut, you know, the last five, six years, and being around a guy like Steve Kerr, who um, is an open communicator, high character guy, um, you know, Steve would certainly have picked up some of Steve Kerr's traits, and I'm sure they picked each other's brain a lot from from time to time, which, you know, I, I think that's led Steve to to to, to want to make this decision and want to jump in, in, in right now. And obviously it never hurts when you've already got a rapport um, with some of our players, which, which Steve has, and, you know, he's got the respect of everybody in the league because of how he's conducted himself over the lifetime of his career. Sean, so when the job opened, it was Steve who reached out to you and said, hey, I think I might be ready to do this. Is that how it initially played out? Basically, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've had conversations, again, dating back years and years now, you know, because we are close friends. Um, and we've picked each other's brains on a lot of different scenarios. Uh, and not just, honest, to be honest, not just coaching. Um, however, this we we always do get together from time to time with the families and so forth. And, and this one, this one felt natural. Um, it was certainly not forced. And and again, there was a different tone with Steve. You know, I, I've seen since the last you know sort of week or two of this really um, his approach, pick up, and his preparation for this um, it has been you know pretty impressive to be honest. Whereas he, he you know he's giving this as his best shot, and you know, he has a lot of stake. We all do here, but you know, I think when he's willing to sacrifice, you know, some of the a little bit of the livelihood that he has already, and said, "Look, you know, I want to throw my hat in the ring here. I want to give this a shot, and I know what's at stake. You know, I know there'll be naysayers and so forth, but um, you know, he's got our utmost to support here with us.